we all talk about the pyramids and how could they have possibly built it how did they do it so many years ago but do you know that in india we have so many temples but the highest the one with the highest gopuram is there in in um, tanjavur which is where the chola dynasty had happened and his role rajaraja cholan had built it that particular temple has the highest gopuram in the whole world the top stone alone it's a single stone that weighs 80 tons 80 tons not 1 ton or 2 tons and how did they do it but do we know that we all go to the pyramids we go see the leaning tower of pisa someone said something very nicely he said we are actually appreciating a building that doesn't stand it's falling over and wow let's take a picture let's take a selfie and we're getting excited but we have temples today that stand and they didn't use plaster do you know that for this particular stone they had to use a ramp which was 6 kilometers long which was pulled by bulls elephants and people 6 kilometers long to get it up there without any machinery without any cranes without any anything and they didn't have plaster it's withstood 6 earthquakes you know what happens when an earthquake comes without plaster what they have done is they have an outer wall then inside that they have a corridor of 6 feet which is an open just a corridor and then they have another structure inside which goes all the way to the top which is why they can withstand earthquakes which is why they stood so long so these are all things that we need to know about this particular king has built 5000 dams in his time and he's made a water management ministry in that time he's had elections for the village leaders he's he's asked him to name cities after women why should it only be men why can't it be named after queen and they've had hospitals free hospitals and uh, they and and he actually brought loans i mean he used to give loans he used to help people get dignity not just throw money around so this is something that's so illustrious and this happened in the 9th century i'm sorry i'm taking so much time no, happened in the 9th century when the rest of the world you talk about superpowers today the 9th century all this happened when we had the biggest maritime or uh, uh, naval thing in in the world and it went all the way to bali all the way to malaysia and went till we sent emissary emissaries to china china and you know what was the superpower doing then america hadn't been discovered by columbus till 500 years later <laughs> So think about our culture. Think about how advanced we were. We need to be proud of this. It's nothing to do with North India, South India, West India. East. It is we are Indians, and we, I mean, we need to feel proud about that.